Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jacob Wilson and we got a really exciting topic today, a topic a lot of you have been asking about and that is top three ways to increase growth hormone. But before I get into that topic, you know, if, if it's your first time on the channel and you like this channel, and you know, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, smack that bell if you want more notifications, right? And a lot of people say, how can I support the channel? The number one way you can support this channel is share this video with other people. Let's get the message out and help people, right? So first off, let's talk about real quick, growth hormone, what does growth hormone do? Growth hormone is that hormone that makes us leaner and it heals our joints and makes our connective tissue strong, gives us better sleep, gives us well-being and allows us to recover faster. So top three ways to increase growth hormone. Number one way, guys, is to increase metabolic stress. That's right, high amounts of lactic acid. Lactic acid actually stimulates your brain to trigger processes that end up releasing more growth hormone. So what's the number one way we can increase metabolic stress? The number one way, anyone know? The number one way is blood flow restriction training, okay? Studies show that blood flow restriction training increases growth hormone by something like 300%. And in fact, remember I talked about it healing connective tissue? We published a study that showed that someone who actually had an injury, they were gonna have to go into surgery by doing blood flow restriction training. It actually ended up healing the injury. Um, uh, really cool publication that we did. The second thing, I was talking actually Fernando about this, who's filming, doing all these cool graphics. It's either training in a fast state, like fast cardio, seems to bump up growth hormone, and also training in a low carbohydrate state. So if you wake in the morning, take some BCAs or essential amino acids and do your cardio, or if you have, or if you do carbohydrate cycling days, if you have lower carb days, when you're training on those low carb days, that'll boost your growth hormone upward. The third thing that's really important for boosting growth hormone is sleep. Guys, listen, I cannot emphasize it enough. At minimum, you gotta get seven hours of sleep at night. And in a perfect world, especially if you can do the weekends, uh, eight to nine hours, right? Now, let's say during the week, you're getting six to seven hours of sleep, at least on the weekends, try and make up for and get eight to nine hours of sleep. And if you're not a long sleeper, then try and take a nap in the middle of the day, at least on the weekends. Okay, so guys, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.